Court documents shedding some new light on a deadly crash involving road rage. It happened June 25th in Talmadge Township, and it claimed the life of a 27-year-old Grand Rapids woman. News 8's Demetria Sanders has more on what led up to the crash and what Ottawa County deputies are saying about this case. The deadly crash that led to two men being charged happened near this intersection. The Ottawa County Sheriff's Office says it's a tragedy that shows the dangers of road rage and reckless driving. These men, 23-year-old Ethan Oosterhouse of Middleville and 42-year-old Dennis Perez from Grand Rapids, are charged with second-degree murder, manslaughter, and reckless driving causing death. A very tragic situation for everybody involved. According to court documents, on June 25th, deputies say a Jeep Grand Cherokee driven by Oosterhouse and a Dodge Charger driven by Perez were engaged in aggressive road rage-style driving while traveling eastbound on Lake Michigan Drive. We did have witness accounts of that, both speed, um, passing, um, you know, swerving in and out of traffic. This eventually led to a collision between Perez and Oosterhouse, who are accused of driving well over the posted speed limit. That collision caused Perez's vehicle to hit a car in the westbound lanes near Trillium Drive, the head-on crash killing 27-year-old Shatera Coleman. I was just minding her business, going about her day, and, uh, you know, the driving, the actions of the two drivers that were charged ended up leading to the crash, which ultimately killed her. In court, a deputy said both men admitted to engaging in a road rage incident for several miles, and Oosterhouse made statements that he was responsible for Coleman's death, going on to say he has a poor driving record with previous road rage incidents in southwest Michigan, and once he's involved with another driver, he can't let go. Captain Sparks says if you find yourself in the middle of road rage... Pull off the side, call 911 if you have somebody that, that's driving like that. Oftentimes we're able to find those vehicles involved and make a traffic stop. Other times we're not, um, but we'd sure rather have you report it than not report it. And he says, think twice before driving recklessly. It's just not worth uh, getting injured, hurting yourself, hurting someone else, or um, in this case, uh, taking somebody else's life. Both men have a $250,000 bond. In Ottawa County, Demetria Sanders, News 8.